Greetings, folks. Today, I'm going to be talking about OCR, that is Optical Character Recognition. Now, if you've dealt with PDFs, you'll know that PDFs are fundamentally just images. You can scan anything, whether it be text or a photo or anything else, into a PDF document. But if you're dealing with text in a PDF, oftentimes you'll receive them in a way where, yes, you have the fixed image, but you can also highlight and copy and paste text out of that PDF. So the text of the image is embedded into the PDF, and this is achieved through OCR. Essentially, a computer can look at the characters in the image, recognize them, and then embed that information into the PDF. Thus, it's optical character recognition. And I should be clear, OCR is not confined just to PDFs. The process is kind of format agnostic. There are plenty of tools to input an image and get the extracted text back. In fact, a lot of people have been experimenting with LLMs, large language models, e.g. AI to do this recently, and it's quite effective. But if you're an academic, what you often want is that second step of embedding the text back into the PDF so that it's easily searchable using you know, a, a control F search when you have the document open. And so when you want this secondary embedding step, there's actually relatively few options to get this done, and neither of them are perfect. I'll start with the simplest one, then we'll go to something a little bit more complicated, but a bit more robust in my opinion, and then I'll close out with some honorable mentions and ways to do the simple OCR text extraction if you don't care about the embedding step. So one of the easiest ways to get this done on Linux is using Rescribe. It's an application available as a flat pack you can install it through your distribution software center or use the commands uh, listed on Flathub here. Once installed, you can open it up and you'll be greeted with this window. Now, if you're working with modern print text, which I suspect most of you will, the default settings here are absolute trash. You must change them. So, you have this language script selection here. You are going to want to change this to English Modern Print. And secondarily, you have these two checkboxes here. Deselect automatically clean image slides, but definitely select use highest image quality for searchable PDF. You want to have this checked because if you don't, the output file will be of way lower quality, like it will be harder to read than what you put in. It says it requires lots of RAM. Uh, my laptop here has 32 gigs and it's not been a problem at all, but if you're running on a machine with eight gigs, you might encounter some issues. So yet one more issue with this piece of software. But my biggest complaint is that these settings have to be changed to get decent results with the kind of documents I processed, and they are not saved. You have to go in and change them every single time you open the application. But it is very straightforward to use. You can just go to choose your PDF, go wherever your file is, open it up, and it will start processing. This will take some time. Okay, and once it's done, you can then go to the folder where the file was located, and you'll see a new folder that has the same name as the file. If you open that up, you'll see there's a lot of output here. Rescribe provides you, yes, the searchable PDF, as you see here. And if we open this up, we can see we can now copy and paste this text. Uh, it's no longer just an image. However, it also provides the raw text just as a, a .txt, a, just as a text file. 
This could be useful if you want to put the text into some other note-taking application, or if you want to run RAG, uh, Retrieval Augmented Generation, a sort of LLM technique uh, using the text from your documents, but it's not necessary for most cases. If we explore these folders, you can see Rescribe is quite thorough. It gives you the text for each individual page of the document, um, as well as the PNGs, so the actual image from each page of the document, very thorough. But what I end up having to do is just copy and paste this searchable PDF into whatever directory I want. So in summary, Rescribe is easy to install, but the configuration is not very user-friendly and the output is a little bit overcomplicated for many use cases. So the other software you can use for this is Sterling PDF. The interesting thing about Sterling is that it's not just for OCR, it is a complete PDF management suite, a total replacement for Adobe if you're coming from Windows, for example. If you go to their GitHub page, they do link to their documentation and the installation is a bit more involved. You do have to have Docker running on your computer and then you can use this Docker Compose file here to get the software up and running. You'll be able to access the software at the local host. So literally HTTP colon slash slash local host colon followed by the port number used in the Docker Compose file. By default, that is 8080. So local host 8080 into your browser and you'll see this dashboard. As you can see, there's a lot of different tools available here, but we're gonna go to the OCR section. The default settings here are great, assuming you're working with English modern printed text. You can upload your file and let the software work its magic. Oh, you do have to check that you want to process the text in English. Once it's done, you'll have the option to save the file somewhere on your machine. And here is where the problems begin. If we compare the original file here, we can see down at the bottom, it's probably too small for those of you who are on mobile, but it's 5.2 megabytes. The OCR file is 17 megabytes. It's more than tripled in size somehow just from doing the OCR. And I don't understand this because all we're doing is embedding text and text takes up no space. So you shouldn't see a massive increase in the file size from doing OCR. And you may be saying, well, storage is cheap these days. You know, I have a one terabyte, a two terabyte SSD, or I've got, you know, 500 gigs of cloud storage. But if you're someone like me who regularly processes dozens, hundreds of very long, you know, 100 plus page PDFs that are close to 100 megabytes to begin with, when they're tripling in size, now you're talking about 300 megabytes per file and I've got dozens of them, you know, that starts to add up pretty quickly. And because of the nature of my work, I keep and archive every file that I process. So very quickly, as I'm working through these hundreds of files, I'll end up with 50, 100 gigabytes worth of PDFs in my cloud storage or on my machine. But aside from the file size increase, the OCR seems perfectly reasonable to me. Of course, if your scans are not straight or the text is just blurry because it's old or whatever it may be, you'll encounter problems with any OCR software, but I find Sterling to be perfectly usable. So in summary, Sterling is great and it's something you probably want to have on your computer anyway because of all the other PDF processing tools that it offers, but the OCR massively increases the file size of the documents you put in and that's just not really workable for me who has to deal with, um, over the long term, hundreds and even eventually thousands of these PDF documents accumulating tons of space 
in my cloud storage or on my machine. Now I did say I would provide some honorable mentions for how to do OCR if you don't care about that embedding step. I suspect me from the future has already edited in footage of some of the LLMs that are doing this OCR work now, things like Mistral. If you want to do everything locally, Frog is a great piece of OCR software. So if you have an image or a screenshot, let's take one of the images of the PDF pages we got earlier. It very quickly extracts all the text. Now it does have new line breaks scattered throughout. You can easily remove these if you just Google remove new line characters from text. There's plenty of little websites you can put the text in and it'll remove all of the new line characters. You can just get the raw text. So this is a great tool to just quickly extract some text out of a image if you just need to copy and paste it into some other, uh, some other piece of software or whatever it may be. All right, folks, I hope that was helpful. If you know of a better piece of OCR software for Linux, please drop your recommendations down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. All right, take care, folks.